The supplies you'll need for this project is a bowl of warm, almost hot, soapy water. I use dish soap. I also use a yoga block, but you can use a, a proper The materials and supplies that I use for this project is a bowl of warm, almost hot, soapy water. I use dish soap. You'll need a balloon and you'll need about half an ounce of roving. This is sheep roving that, or sheep fleece that's been dyed and there's a little bit of sparkle in here. You can use any colors that you want. So this is 0.6 ounces. Uh, ounces so it's a little over half an ounce if there's any spots that need needle felting you can use a yoga block or some sturdy foam and a felting needle a felting needle has little barbs in the ends and what it does is it tangles the roving so I'm going to put that off to the side for now just in case I need it and then I'm going to start the project. I also use this tray. This is just a shoe tray. Any tray will do as long as you have a good working surface with a lip on it so that the water doesn't splash out. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is blow up my balloon. I'm not a fan of balloons. So this will be the size of the vessel, the bowl that I want to make. So I'm gonna just tie that up. There we go. So now I'm just going to take some fleece and what I do is just pull lightly, make my, I don't want my fingers this far apart because I'll never get any. I put my fingers far apart and I'm going to take some fleece and pull it apart. I want to go against the grade as well, so I want to tangle. This will tangle when it's nice and wet, and I want a few more colors in there, so I'll take that. You can make it as thick or thin as you like, so I'm just pulling it apart. Get a nice color scheme that I like. Have a dry towel near you because when you start this, your hands will be wet and you might want to pull off some more fleece. And if your hands are wet, you're just going to end up wet felting some fleece that you don't want felted. With this much, with half an ounce, it's actually quite a lot of fleece. You will probably get three, maybe four vessels, and you can make different sizes depending on the balloon. Okay, I'm gonna use that much, and I'm gonna put my other fleece away where it's not gonna get wet. This is very different from other projects if you want it to make a scarf or something to wear. Usually when you make uh, some fabric, you'll want to roll the roving around. So you'll need maybe a pool noodle, some bubble packing, uh, bubble stuff to just give that a good roll. So here I'm liking how this is looking. I want to separate the blue a little bit. And now I'm going to just put that off to the side. I really don't want to get that too wet right now. Okay. Let's get the balloon a little soapy. It'll slip off. Okay. And now I'm just going to play. I want to start with as thin as I can. Let's 
See how this tray comes in nice and handy? Pull it apart. I'm going to go in different directions. Where the needle felting comes in is something like this. This is going to be several layers. You can already see it felting together. And that might need to be a little bit more felted. So when the project is done and dry, I can felt it a little bit. Okay. Get some more on here. I'm going to start working at the top of the vessel. How wide do I want it to be? This is very much like paper mache, but you're using fleece. Nice big hole there. The water shouldn't be boiling hot because if it's extremely hot, it'll felt too quickly and then you won't have any manipulation time. You want to have some time to play with it a little bit. Okay, a little bit more water. I can tell this will be a thick place that I'll want to needle felt. See, there's a, a, this already started to felt. So let's see if we can find a place for it. If this doesn't, this little bit that we put on doesn't wet felt, so it doesn't tangle with all the roving and fleece, we can use the needle felting. Okay, so here's the rest of what I used. So let's just put it on and then I'll have to dry my hands and get a little bit more off of my half ounce of fleece. Looking for holes, I might do a little thicker here. And see I want to work quickly because it will fleece on or it'll felt on its own. Okay, put a little bit more here, some here and here. It looks like a mess but it's going to be gorgeous. If you're a painter you kind of get to that paint spot where everything just turned brown and then you can get the your vision on the palette and this is very much the same there's going to be some nice layers here okay so I'm going to start moving the mouth down this is going to be a, a large mouth more of a bowl than a vessel a vessel is or a bowl is a vessel so when it's ready to to break the balloon when this is all dry so that's my first layer and there's still holes and that's okay we will fill up those holes with some more fleece okay I'm going to dry my hands and then do my second layer. You can do many layers, but I'm just going to do two layers because I want to have some light spots for putting a tea light in. Okay, so I'm only going to use this much more and I still have a good quarter ounce. That's a good quarter ounce. You can make two more bowls out of this around this size or maybe a little smaller so you can have different sizes. Okay so here what I'm going to do is just start layering around. I'm just pulling around. Very abstract looking. This is so pretty. I love this color.
Okay. This is beautiful. Okay, now add a lot more water. I'm telling you, this boot tray comes in handy. Once you try a plain vessel, a plain bowl like this, you can get really fancy and put some tentacles. You really use your imagination. So I can tell here this is all covered. I'm not seeing too many spots. I like how it is turning out. I can already tell. I'm going to pull it apart. It's starting to wet felt, you see? That's already starting to felt. The water's turned room temperature now. So what I'm gonna do, just very gently, very gently, I'm going to just move around the felt. And by doing this, this is all gonna tangle because just like that, that felting needle that I showed you has little barbs in it, every little hair in here is the same. It's got little barbs on the little soft little barbs that tangle with the next hair, the next bit of fleece that is soft. So I'm just going to give that a little bit. How's that? Oh, that's fine there. Okay. okay. And then I want it to dry and I want it to dry really, really, really well. And then what I'm going to do is because I can't really, you know, smash this down and really agitate this, I do want it very dry. And then what I'll do is see if I want to put on more fleece, maybe start wet felting it again, or do I want to switch over to needle felting? So here, what I can do like when you make a scarf or, or a piece of clothing, what you do is you, you smash down, you want to agitate. So I can bounce this. That's not going to hurt anything. And by doing this, this is agitating the soap and the water and the fleece together. It'll shrink a little bit. You can already tell it's starting to shrink. Okay. This is a good first project because it's not super complicated. You don't need a lot of material like you would with a, a scarf. But it's still advanced enough that people don't usually make a bowl for their very first or beginner type projects. Okay. So now I want to squeeze just a little bit. I don't want to break the balloon. See if I can get a little bit of that soap off. See if I can. There we go. Get some of the water and the soap off. And as far as how long do you have to leave this to dry? Sometimes it depends on how hot it is in your house or what the humidity is. I can tell this is really felting together, but there are spots that might not wet felt together and that's okay. We will needle felt that. I like this. You can start to see it's coming. You can start to see it coming off. Isn't that? See, so it's starting to wet felt. So I want this to dry a little bit more, squeeze a little bit more of the water off just to help the drying. And that's it. So in that short time, we have completed step one. So just leave this to dry. You can put it on a cup and then just move it around a little bit. And next step will be to see if it needs any more wet felting or needle felting.